Hey guys, it's Lori. I have a very small Dollar Tree haul for you. It's really, really small for me. So I did do a little bit of stocking up on things that just in case we're stuck at home that we might need or maybe if we get sick. Um, yeah, so let me just get started. This isn't one of those things, but I did get some more of the gummy bunnies because we ran out like in two days time because all the kids love them. So my older kids came, stuffed their pockets and left. So, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I already opened this bag uh, in my last Dollar Tree haul, I think it was, and kind of showed you guys what they look like. They are apparently very good little gummy candies and I'm dropping them on the floor. So I guess they're all individually wrapped and I guess they're very good. So yeah, I'll be filling up my candy dish with some of those as well as some more of the gummy carrots. I guess they're both very good. I didn't have any. So yeah, there's those. Let me pick these up off the floor. Before the cat or the dog comes and takes off with it, let me just pick it up now. <laughs> I also picked up some dog treats for Winston, the canine carryouts. He really, really likes these, this kind. So I picked up two of those, the beef flavor and the beef, beef and cheese flavor. I don't know if they really taste any different. I'm not gonna taste them to find out. So there you go. <laughs> they may taste exactly the same for all I know. I also picked up uh, some craft supplies. I picked up some of these gorgeous yellow flowers. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. What are they saying? They're just saying blooming branches. These yellow flowers. I love the way these are with the, they look like they have little branches like that. I think they're so pretty. Two, three, four. I got four of them. So we'll see what I do with these. I'm gonna do something, some kind of an arrangement. I have some out there now in my decor that are pink. I might switch them out with the yellow ones instead, just for something different, I don't know. I got a couple of balls. These little foam, like, I don't know, softballs, I guess, maybe. They're between the size of a baseball and a softball. So, yeah, and I'm actually going to make a topiary out of these balls. So, I um, got a dowel rod from Walmart, too, while I was in there. I just picked up a dowel rod. I think it was 97 cents for this dowel rod. So that'll be big enough for two topiaries. And I also picked up some more of this, uh, what's it called, cotton twine. And this is just for, to put in my stash, just so I have it. If I do get stuck in the house, I wanna be able to do some crafts, right? So I wanna make sure I got stuff in my stash. <laughs> and I already showed you the dog treats. I picked up a couple of these little bottles of the Simply Dawn, or Simply Clean Dawn. And these are actually for work. So I like to have those in uh, kind of stocked up. I also got some of this Dial hand soap. We're gonna go ahead and put away the Bath and Body Works frou-frou stuff and use the antibacterial hand soap instead. Yes, it's bar soap, big deal. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I actually got three, the Dial Gold. I love the smell of Dial, love it. The dial, the original dial gold. This one's already open because I opened it up and put a bar in the bathroom already. So yeah, we've been using that. And I also got some, let's see, it is Tussin Cough and Chest Congestion DM. So I picked up two bottles of this just in case, you know, just in case we do get sick, then we'll have something for a little bit of relief. They're four ounces a piece. So got that, and I also grabbed, this is the 12 pack. There's 12 caplets in here, the sinus congestion and pain with acetaminophen. So I just grabbed a couple of those things, just, you know, like I said, just to have on hand. And this is the last thing that I got, guys. I told you it was small. This is really small for me. <laughs> but yeah, I picked up four of these, and this is just to have some shelf stable milk on hand, kind of like a um, a ration shelf, I guess. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Just stock up on some stuff that's shelf stable. If we can't get out, we will have something just 
in case. This is just like an emergency thing, but, and I won't use it unless we absolutely have to, or if it's about to expire, then I will go ahead and get some fresh and use this. I've heard that this milk is perfectly good, just like regular milk. I mean, it's just regular milk. That's what it is. It's liquid milk. It is shelf stable. The expiration date is 7th of September, 2020. So this will be good until then. Like I said, before it goes bad, I'll use it. Otherwise, we'll just kind of, you know, rotate it around and replenish the stock just in case. You guys, you never know. I understand there's the whole virus going around right now and everything, but what anything could happen in the future. It doesn't even have to be a virus. So I'm just saying, it's kind of a good idea. John and I have been talking about it, maybe stocking up on a few things just to have on hand, just in case there's some kind of a disaster ever happens, then we'll be prepared. Okay, and by the way, Dollar Tree did have some toilet paper. I didn't buy any, because I'm good on it. I'm okay, we're not gonna run out, I'm not hoarding. I, we have enough to last us a little while, so, and I can even share it with my kids if needed, but I figured, you know, I'm not gonna hoard all this toilet paper, let these other people grab some too. But anyways, don't hoard, you guys. Don't hoard, there, there's enough to go around. There is enough for everybody. There's enough to go around of everything if people just don't hoard. So they are gonna restock the shelves. We're not gonna run out. I understand that people are freaking out, but you know, just just be calm and spread kindness. That's kind of something that's needed right now, right? So just be calm, spread kindness, don't hoard, wash your hands, you know, all the things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.